Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, products that involve exponents, example 4. Example 4 has A, B, C, and D parts. Uh, this is A part, and before I do that one, I want to do a, a similar problem that's just a little simpler. Um, as, a, as you probably realized from before, this exponent of 2 means I have two of these. So that's 4 times 3, that's one of them, and the other one is another 4 times 3. Now, um, multiplication has the commutative property, and I can switch these two in the middle if I feel like it. So now that I switch them, you can see that what I really end up with here is 4 to the second power times 3 to the second power. And it's a similar thing in example A. Example A is 24 to the eighth power times 13 to the eighth power. Uh, remember, I'm always figuring out how many of these I have. This 8 means I'm going to have 8 of these. That means 8 24s and 8 13s, so I end up with 24 to the 8th times 13 to the 8th. B, po B uh, question is very similar. I'm going to have 2 of what's in the parentheses. That means I'm going to have 2 9s, 2 x's, and 2 y's. And usually that's enough, but uh, I see that the book uh, made this 81 x squared y squared. Um, uh, I, so um, c is negative 4 z squared. So um, we've got to ask ourselves, how many of each of these am I going to have? I'm going to have two negative 4s and two z's. So this is negative 4. I need two of them. And z squared. Now negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So this is 16 z squared. And d is negative 4 z squared. It looks like the almost the same problem, but it's really not. The exponent only pertains to what's immediately in front of it. This negative sign out here has nothing to do with the exponent. So I'm just repeating the negative sign because it's got nothing to do with the exponent. And now I'll have two fours and two z's. Now once again this 2 only pertains to the 4, only what's immediately in front of it. So this negative sign is not uh, part of the exponent problem. It is part of the answer, but it um, the exponent is n does not pertain to that negative sign and that's the answer to D.